welcome to Ucanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out if your alternator is working properly, if it's uh, charging the battery or, or if it's not. So what you want to do is, um, you know, if you have to jumpstart the car, uh, most Mercedes are going to have jump terminals in, uh, in the engine bay. Uh, then the, there's a stud for the ground and there's a red cap usually where underneath it is your positive terminal. And your battery might be under the seat or in the trunk. Uh, most Mercedes are going to have that positive terminal there where you can jump start the car. But let's say you started the car, but you're not sure the car dies or have issues with it. So you're not sure if the alternator is charging. One really quick, simple test you can do is this, where you come in the vehicle, make sure you close the driver door. If your Mercedes Benz is equipped with start button, you want to pull this out, okay? Just simply grab this and pull this out, insert the key in the ignition and turn it one click. You don't want to turn it all the way where the dash lights come on. Um, so right here it says fuel low, you want to clear in any messages or anything like that so your mile shows up. Then you want to press the phone and OK. You press the phone first, within a second press OK and hold them both. Now on the instrument cluster you'll see vehicle data. You press OK again. And right here is what you're looking for. So you can see uh, voltage from the battery and you can also see how many amps. Not right now you see a negative value because the engine is not started. And uh, that, what that negative value means is from the battery you are draw, you're drawing current. We're taking out about 10 amps. You see that? Minus uh, 9, minus 9.5, minus 10 amps. So once we start the engine, the voltage, that's the voltage of the battery. Once we start the engine, that voltage should go to about 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half. That's typically how much the alternator will output. So, and now because the alternator will start to change, to charge the battery, the, the current here should go from a negative number, should go to a positive. And it should be somewhere over like 30, 40 or 50 amps, depending on the state. Because if you have a completely discharged battery, that alternator is going to try to put uh, put a lot of current to charge that battery. If you know if the uh, car is uh, in uh, the battery is in good condition, then you're not going to have as much. But the the bottom line is that this number from minus seven amp should go positive. So here we have a car with a good alternator, good battery. Let's see what happens. Okay. So you can see voltage start going up. 14, 14. 0.5 volt, you can see IB, and you can see 67, 66, 65 amps. So that's how much um, current that uh, and voltage that alternator is generating right now. And that's where it's stabilizing at 14, 14.7, 60 amps. And you can, if you change the RPMs, you should see a little bit of fluctuation, but not a whole lot. Okay. If you're seeing uh, strange fluctuations as, as you change the RPMs, like if the the current draw goes significantly down or the voltage goes down, then that might be a warning sign that has that the alternator is working fine at, at certain RPMs, but then it starts to malfunction. It's maybe higher RPMs or vice versa. But that's a really quick test. It can really um, tell you, give you a good idea of what's happening with your alternator on your Mercedes-Benz. That's all. Thank you for watching Mechanic. Bye.